The whispers and incantations filled the air. A naked dead body lay in a circle of blood. The body was surrounded on all sides by dozens of hooded figures, all holding large leather-bound books in their hands, chanting in unison. The dead body was thin and rotten, its flesh like paper, green and oozing from what could only be from years of decomposing. But then something started to happen. The body began to change its skin, becoming thicker and more lifelike, until it was tan. Its hair began to grow until it was shoulder length. It was silvery and white, no color, and then it slowly started to turn until it was blonde. After dozens of changes, the body appeared to be a healthy-looking young male. Soon, the used-to-be-dead body's chest started to rise and fall as if it was breathing. Then suddenly, its eyes shut open. His eyes start darted across the room. He was scared, terrified. The hooded figures seemed to be surprised themselves as they took a step back. They started muttering amongst themselves. Then what used to be a dead body let out a scream. It hopped to its feet, naked, and ran straight into a figure. Both of them went sprawling onto the ground. The young man managed to get to his feet before anybody could react. The boy looked around the dark room, saw stairs, and he bolted. The boy reached the stairs as the figures reacted, giving chase. The boy took the steps three at a time, which seemed to be no problem for his long, slender, powerful legs. The young man slammed into the door at the top, grabbing the doorknob and twisting. He flew out of what seemed to have been a basement, slipping off his feet and onto his knees. The young man looked behind him to see the hooded figures running up the stairs, scrambling all over each other. The young, the young boy got up and slammed the door shut. He immediately turned back to the door, looking for a way out. He spotted a black side and glass door. The boy took off running. He was almost to the door when he tripped. He screamed and went flying face first. With a crash, the boy went sprawling into the backyard, his body getting cut by glass. He fought through the pain and quickly got to his feet. He glanced behind him to see the door of the basement bursting open. The boy's eyes went wide, and quickly he whipped his head back around and ran quickly towards a metal fence with a leap that would impress an NBA basketball player. The boy leapt over the fence. Alice Demoy sat in her bedroom drawing. She sighed. She just couldn't seem to get this girl's mouth right that she was drawing. Alice sighed once more. Alice was a young girl, age 16. She was short and pale-skinned. She loved sweaters. Alice was currently dressed in her pajamas and annoyed. She should have been asleep an hour ago, but she just couldn't rest until she got this mouth right. No, 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 that's not right, she grumbled, erasing the mouth again. All of a sudden, Alice was startled by a bang. Alice looked up from her picture. She wondered what the sound was. Then another bang and a constant rapping. Alice then realized it was the front door. Then she heard it, a young man's voice, not much older than her own. Help me. Alice was wondering. Help me, please. Frantically searching her mind for what she needed to do. Alice's parents hadn't gotten the door. They were probably still somehow asleep. I need to get the door, Alice thought to herself. Whoever was down there could be in serious danger. Alice bolted out of the bed and out of her room. She raced down the hallway and down the stairs, taking the steps two at a time. She reached her front door and yanked it open. And there stood a naked and bleeding teen with blonde hair and tan skin and deep green eyes. Alice was startled. She had not been expecting this. Thank you, said the boy as he collapsed in the doorway. Alice yelped and held out her hand, catching the boy. He was heavy. The lights to the upstairs turned on, and Alice could hear the sounds of her parents' footsteps. In seconds, they were at the foot of the stairs. Mom, Dad, help me. What should we do? Alice yelled. They took a few moments, and then they spoke. Alice, just bring your brother inside, Alice's father said. My brother? answered Alice quizzically. Yes, bring your brother Ash inside, spoke Alice's mother. Alice just stood there, for she had never seen this boy in her entire life. <laughs>